Hello, this is George Harker. Join me as I go off to Kalapapa National Historic Park to observe monk seals. The focus of this video is the birthing of RT-22 on Ilio P.E. Beach. RT-22 is the daughter of RH-44, born in Molokai in uh, 2010. She is a very young first-time mother. We will be examining events surrounding the birth of a monk seal. You are invited to compare what you observe occurring with NOAA's statement about what is supposed to occur. According to NOAA's Fisheries Office of Protected Resources, nursing occurs for about one month, during which time the mother fasts and remains on land. After this period, the mother abandons her pup and returns to sea. This is the first time I've seen this seal in Kalapapa. RT-22 was introduced to me by her mother, RH-44, in Lahaina Harbor in March 19, 2012. I remember the day well. After being introduced to her, I watched her get run over by a fishing boat in Lahaina Harbor. Fortunately, she wasn't seriously hurt and lived another day. It's later in the afternoon and our mother-to-be turns up on the beach with our old friend Casanova, RW32. Casanova was born in Kalapapa on August 4, 2008. It's the next day, one day before birth, and we find mom in RW32 appear to be romantically linked up. Looks like a match made in Kalapapa. RT22 is just about four years old. This is very young for a mother monk seal. RW32 is about six years old. The nature of the interaction in this clip suggests to me that these two are more than just friends. It will be interesting to see the relationship between these two after the baby arrives. It's later in the day and mom-to-be and her paramour are chilling out on the rocks at Papaloa Beach. It's birthday and I get my first look at the pup from across at a place called Ocean View. With a better camera angle, it appears that the pup is actively looking around for the nipple. It doesn't appear to me that it has found one up to this point. It appears that mom is trying to encourage the pup to look in the right place, but the pup is still exploring. We're going to watch for a while and note that the pup actually moves down one side around the back and up on the other side in its quest to find a working nipple. It's about 20 minutes since the last clip. We're going to pop in here visually through the vegetation, see what the pup is doing. Meanwhile, down the beach, we observe RQ21 in her 45 day old pup. Looks like the pup is ready to start today, but mom is still sacked out. Take note of the size of a 45-day-old pup. 
It's about two hours since the pup was born. Looks like it's uh, got breakfast and taken a nap. It's about four hours later in the day of the pup's birth and we're checking in to see what mom and pup are doing. To my surprise, I find that mom and pup are on the threshold of the water with the pup moving in and out of the water. Of course, you remember, according to Noah, they're supposed to be up the beach nursing. Mom doesn't go in the water for 30 days. Remember? It's interesting to see RW32 hanging around and keeping an eye on things. For some reason I get the impression that while he may be interested in the mom, he's also interested in the pup. Of course the question is why the interest in the pup? Could it be that he's the father? This is an interesting sequence. Mom decides to go in a different direction and in the process beats up the pup pretty badly. <laughs> pup seems to survive when we find mom and the pup just a few feet off the uh, water's edge taking a snooze. It's an hour later and things haven't changed that much at the beach. RW32 has gone away and now returns. He had been down the beach checking in on RQ-21 and her pup. Mom has decided to shift up the beach a little bit. And of course along comes the pup. RW-32 hauls out onto the beach. The distance between the seals is greater than it would appear, maybe 30 feet. Everybody seems comfortable with the arrangement. It's about 6 o'clock in the evening and our seals are slightly up the beach, not quite adjacent to the water any longer. This will change dramatically as Mama starts to move up the hill, up in tow. Mom is up the hill, just about to the vegetation line, and decides she wants to have one of her sand facials. A quick dip of her head, and her face appears covered with sand. Isn't she sweet? They are very close to where things started out this morning. Scanning the camera up the beach, we find RQ-21 and her pup in the process of hauling out. They too are going to spend the night very close to the vegetation line, slightly up the beach. Meanwhile, we find RT-22 is giving her pup an evening snack. It's time to bid adieu to our new mother and new pup and wish them a good night. It's morning and mom and pup are basically in the same spot as the birthing took place the previous day. It looks like everybody wants to sleep in this morning, so we'll leave them to it. Crabs feasting on 25 hour old placenta. Nothing goes to waste in nature. These crabs are getting a lot of very good nutrition. Isn't it fascinating to see how crabs eat?
Take a look at this umbilical cord, over 25 hours old. Six or eight inches long, dried out and still connected. With that, we will conclude a visit to a birthing at Kalapapa. What you have just witnessed is the actual events surrounding the birth of an Hawaiian monk seal. The key point observed is that mother took the pup to water within hours of its birth. This is the beginning of approximately 50 days of training on the basics of being a thriving monk seal. The videos in this series will yield substantial insight on the life history of a monk seal that Noah does not seem to be aware. Enjoy. Special thanks to Eric K. Brown, Marine Ecologist, Kalapapa National Historic Park, and James K. Walsh, PC, Attorney at Law, Eugene, Oregon. Barry Cook, Barry's Ocean Adventures, Lahaina, Hawaii. Until next time, peace be with you.